You are not a bad test taker. Hey everyone, it's the paramedic coach here. We're gonna figure out why you're a bad test taker in this video. I'm gonna get you through your exams and get you through NREMT. Now, smash the like button, hit subscribe, and watch till the end. Let's pinpoint, let's focus. The first piece of advice you need to eliminate from your vocabulary, from texting, from telling others that you are a bad test taker. What you say out into the world will come true. So do not say you're a bad test taker. Say, I'm improving my skills as a test taker. I'm hyper-focusing to get even better at my testing ability. I am a great test taker. I'm gonna get better at this. Those are the affirmations I wanna hear from you. If you keep saying bad, you'll do bad. I want you to do good. That's different, right? Okay, we got that out of the way. Now let's talk about some practical tips. Now here's the first piece. Do you actually understand the content? And I'm not talking about clinically out in the field because hands-on skills is different from book work. It's different from understanding emergencies, diseases, diagnosis, uh, critical thinking. That's different. So number one is, are you studying content? Are you studying the national content? Are you studying your quizzes content? Have you figured out what is your best learning style? If you figure out your best learning style, and you match that up with studying that content, then it can't be a content issue because you've been studying. I wanna give you a quick tip. If you are watching like a video like this, if you watch it over once, twice, three times, the more you watch, the more you absorb. You might watch it once and you kind of get it. You watch it two, three times. This is what I tell my students inside my course. Now, the second piece is we're talking about the focus. Do you care? So do you actually care about the subject? I'm gonna give you a quick tip here. What if you have a dry subject? You wanna to try to make it fun, and I don't know what that is for you, but I would try to think about how I could use this out in the field, or try, uh, wouldn't it be interesting to know about this if I had this kind of patient? I try to make it more fun for me. You gotta make that work for you. Try to find one piece of it that's, that's a positive, that's fun for you, and then latch onto that and study it and get it to no cold. Now, the next piece, if we've taken care of the studying and we actually care, we wanna be an EMT, we wanna be a paramedic, we really wanna do this, we care and we're studying, now we go down. Let's talk about questions. Do you have a problem with one of these two things? Is it a reading issue? Do you have a hard time with reading comprehension? Do you have a hard time actually reading the questions? Okay, again, same deal. Read, don't even look at the answers. Read over once, read over twice. What is it asking you? Close your eyes, think about what would I do next out in the field? You say you're good out in the field. Well, what would, I, what would you do out in the field for this patient? And then look at the answers. Any of them make sense? Then go from there, okay? If you need help with reading comprehension, talk to your instructor about getting some extra help with breaking down the questions. We talk about that here. I even do practice questions here in the channel, okay? Now the second piece is ADD, ADHD, or having problems with a lacking attention span. Maybe you get a few questions in and you just, you're, you're totally out of the game, okay? You're totally out of the game. I have a hack for studying. I do tell my students. It's called alpha waves. So if you can put it on YouTube, alpha waves, and I do this. So when I'm working on a project or I need to get a lot of work done, I actually use the alpha waves and I put them in the background. And you can even see in some of my lectures, I actually put alpha waves in the background for that reason. If I have a student studying content, what I tell them to do is put the alpha waves low in the background and then study. That's a quick hack. Now, what if your class just wasn't up to par? As the paramedic coach, I get messages from students all over the country and all over the world, even other countries, that struggle with this. Their class, there was a problem. The instructor, they were just reading off PowerPoints. Maybe they weren't into it, or, or the class got disrupted, or whatever it may be, or it was an awkward uh, learning environment, whatever it was. They come to me and say, what do I do? That nine out of 10 times, you answered your own question. It's a content issue, right? So you need to really self-study to get back up to par to pass the national standard, all right? We talk, about, uh, we talk about that a lot on this channel here about understanding the content cold. Now, what if you're saying, Evan, I have true test anxiety. Over here, I want you to know that even me, the paramedic coach, everyone is nervous on exam day. 
So if you have normal nerves, normal anxiety, everyone's nervous. The stakes are high, but that's part of doing something great in life. Those nerves give you energy to be focused. But over here, we have a difference. If you have true anxiety symptoms like chest pain, palpitations, having a hard time breathing, you want to run, you want to run out of that testing center because you're, you're you know, tingling in your hands. You're having an anxiety attack, a true panic attack. You need to talk to your doctor about solving your anxiety and panic attack problem that you're having. And I've had students that have came to me and told me this. They say, look, go to your doctor. They would get on a medication. They would feel better. They would take care of it. There's three main factors here that we've uncovered. One is the mental. If you are telling yourself bad thoughts or you have proper test anxiety that needs to be handled medically, then you need to take care of that. The second piece is the content. This is why I created my video study course. The first link in the description, you can see here, you get access to all of my national registry prep and access to all my school prep. 420 plus videos, so you can eliminate the content issue, and you also get access to our private student group to ask me questions if you're unsure along the way. If you were in a class that was below average, I can bring you up and get you through the exam. The third piece is we're talking about the reading and the comprehension, right? And we're talking about the focus. Handle those things the best that you can. Yeah, if you need um, the medical advice from a doctor, take that. The reading side, you may need to focus on the question. On this channel, I go over how to answer a lot of the questions here. And in my course, I have a full length video talking about how we break down every type of question that we may encounter. So my friends, I will see you on the inside there. I'll see you back here in the channel. And remember, you are not a bad test taker. See you next time.